How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Also, Happy New Year. I'm pretty sure this video is going up on the first, so Happy New Year. I hope your year is already off to a great start. I have high hopes for 2023. I think some cool things are gonna happen, and I don't know, I'm just wishing the best for all of us. We all need a really, really good year. In today's video, I'm chatting about Odin's Eyes new single, Shadows. I am so, so super excited for this. There are 42 shades and they are beautiful. They're magnificent. They're lovely. They're amazing. And I'm super excited to show you all of them. We're going to do a big swatch party today. I'm going to show you each shade individually on my hand, chat about each one. And then at the end, I will show you everything laid out on my arm, all swatched out so you can see them all together. As of the moment that I'm filming this, I don't know exactly when these are launching, but I will have all of those launch details down in my description box by the time this video goes up. And you can use my affiliate code Batty Bean to save 10% on their site and I appreciate it so so much if you use it. I did play with a few of them for this look and this look you can find on my Instagram and TikTok. As far as my accessories today go, this necklace is from Ana Luisa. This is a wig off of Amazon and I don't even know where this beanie's from. I've had it for five million years. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and chat about the new single shadows from Odin's Eye. I'm so excited about this. They were actually supposed to launch Single Shadows quite a few months ago, but they needed to take a step back and reformulate them a little bit because they were arriving a little broken. And I'm really glad that they did that because now they're better than ever. Not a single one of mine arrived broken. And I am so excited to share these with you. I just have them organized alphabetically because that's easier for me to keep track of, especially when there's 42 shadows, my goodness. So let me go to my little notes app where I have them all written down. I also like that these are all named based on like names, like names people would have, all genders too. Like they're not just feminine names, it's across all different kinds of names. And I think it's really cool and I'd love to know if any of these are your name. None of these are named after me. Even like when you go to like the gas stations and there's like the little souvenir like keychains and stuff, there's never a Betty Jean. I'm lucky if there's a Betty and a Jean, but regardless, we're gonna hop into it. Here's what they all look like. I had to have them across two different palettes. Look how beautiful. Oh, the shine and the sparkle. I love these so much. And I think the shadows themselves are just beautiful. I like this shape pan and I really like this kind of braided looking like embossing on it. I think it's really, really pretty. So yeah, we're just gonna kick it off with the first one. The first shade is Angela. Angela is right here. Such a pretty color, my goodness. Here's Angela. It's a little bit more like toppery iridescent, but look at that shine. This is so pretty. I feel like this would also work really nice as a face highlighter. I really like this one. Next up, we have the shade Anthony. This one is such a rich like bluey purple. Oh, it is so pretty. Look at that. I love how rich it is. I love the different shifts and how it shines super bright. Oh, this is such a cool, like darker shifty shadow. Next up is the shade Ava. One of my guests in my salon that I see, she has a little girl named Ava and I absolutely adore her. And I feel like this is such a her shadow, like so playful and fun and cute and adorable. I love this like pinky purple flip. So, so, so pretty. Next up is the shade Charlotte. This is one of my favorite ones. It's such a beautiful, like peachy, corally, pinky, sparkly, shifty situation. I love that gold popping through. This is such a mesmerizing shadow, like by far one of my favorites. Next up is the shade Chloe. I love this one. It's kind of like a pewter lavender-y kind of color. It's so shiny too, like do you see that? This is such an ethereal shade. It's so, so, so pretty. I feel like this would be really fun if you're someone who's into neutrals but you wanna dabble in color. Like this would play with neutral tones really well, especially cool tone neutrals. Such a cute shade. Next is the one that I'm wearing on the inner part of this giant wing. It's the shade Christopher. Just such a rich, like foresty, emeraldy. It has a little bit of teal to it. Look how rich that is. Oh my gosh. This is just such a rich, saturated, enchanting shade. I love how luxurious it is. I wanna like swim in this color. It's just so good. That's also probably one of my favorites if I had to pick favorites. It's hard to pick favorites when they're all pretty, but I'll try to shout out specifically the ones that like speak to my soul the most. Next up, getting into the second row, we have Daniel. I really love that there's just such a good variety of names in here. Such a beautiful bright blue. Like this is the color I would have colored the sky with like a Crayola crayon as a child. Such a perfect bright rich blue. It is so lovely. It looks like 
drinkable. I like how there's almost a little bit of a purpley shine through it when the light hits it just right. I feel like this one doesn't even capture on camera the same way it does in person. It's pretty enchanting, honestly. Next up, we have the shade David. Zane and I have a really good friend named David, and it's such a good color. Again, one of those just rich, lush shades. Do you see how beautiful that is? Oh my gosh, this one also kind of shifts a little purpley depending on how the light hits it. Oh my gosh, it's such a good color. I love these really rich, shifty shadows. They're beautiful. Like imagine a black smoky eye with this slathered all over it. Oh my gosh, game over. Next up, we have the shade Dimitri. This is one of the ones that's more smooth and shifty rather than like sparkly. It like glides on so smooth because some of the shades in this range have like sparkle to them. Some are just like shifty smooth and it's so glossy feeling. Not like wet, but just it feels smooth to touch it. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it is gorgeous, that beautiful like indigo blue purple situation. Next is the shade Eden. Ugh, again, another one of those like peachy pinky ones. So pretty, look at that. Oh, I love that color. I love this color so, so much. That like pink, almost lavender into a coral. It's so pretty. This is such a fun shade. I could see using this one a ton in like the spring and summer specifically. Like I'll wear any color year round, don't get me wrong, but this is a very playful summery spring color to me. It's so cute. Next up we have Ella. Oh, I love this one. It's just such a good bright white with a gold shift. Such a good highlighty shade. This would probably work beautifully as a face highlighter as well. Such a good classic shade. I love that brightness that it has. Next we have Emily. This is a super cute, like playful purple. I like don't know how to describe this kind of purple other than playful. It's like kind of warm, but also kind of violet-y. Like it kind of plays on both. It's just so cute and playful, this mid-tone. I like this almost silvery lavender, like popping through it. It's a really, really cute shade. Now, number three, we are on Emma. This one's another kind of more iridescent, almost toppery looking one. I like that it kind of goes from clear into like this cute, enchanting, like twinkle of lavender pink. It's really, really, really pretty. I like that shine. I feel like this one would also work really nice as a face highlighter. Next up is Gabriel or Gabrielle. I keep wanting to say Gabrielle because of Emily in Paris, but it could be Gabriel also, like just, I guess, depending on how you pronounce it and where the person who is named this is from. But either way, it is gorgeous. Like one of my favorites for sure. We all know I love a murky, chartreuse olive -y situation. Oh, it's so good. I wanna eat this shade. It's so delicious and amazing. And oh my gosh, I love it so much. Another one that I'm obsessed with is Ingrid. What a beautiful color. And I really like that name as well. This is another kind of toppery shade. It goes from like a really bright limey color into like a pinky color. I don't even know if the camera is capturing this one to its full potential, but it is a pretty beaming limey color in person. Um, and then it kind of shifts to that pink when the light hits it. But I feel like on camera, it almost looks opposite right now. Um, but it is pretty limey in person. I love this one. Next we have Isabella. For some reason when I see this name, I just <laughs> think of Arrow from Twilight when he meets Bella and he's like, Isabella. That's like always what I think about. <laughs> this is such an interesting one because it's kind of pinky greeny as well, but it's like a dingier version of what Ingrid was. Not dingy in a bad way, just like a more deeper jewel tone version, I guess. When I say dingy, I never mean that in a bad way, by the way. Um, but this is a really, really cool shade. I love how vibrant it is. It's super, super interesting. Next up, we have the shade Ivy. I kind of love that they didn't give this shade name to a green just to like more so drive into the fact that this is a name, not just a plant. Um, but it's beautiful, rich berry tone. I like this reddish Merlot color into that brighter pop of purple. Super, super rich and pretty. Next up, we have Jacob. One of my brothers is named Jacob, actually. This is such a pretty like aqua seafoam kind of color. It is so cute, very cotton candy-esque, and I think it is absolutely precious. I love this color. Row number four, finishing off this first palette with James. This is a really pretty like antique bronzy kind of color. It almost has a hint of like a, a muted olive through it, but it's mostly that really just rich antique bronze. I think this is really pretty. I feel like this would spice up a basic neutral look really nicely. Next up, we have the shade John. What a poppin' green. It's so bright and springy and fun. I love this kind of a green. It's so just 
punchy, loud in your face. Like this is a screaming green. It is so cute. Next we have the shade Judy. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful shift. Oh, look at that. It like shifts so many colors. It goes from like this darker purple into a bright pink into like a gold into like a pewter. Oh, this is such a magical one. Definitely one of my favorites. It is so mesmerizing. It almost shifts blue a little bit in person too. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but it almost has like a bluey and sea foamy kind of shift to it as well. It's a pretty magical shade. I love this one. Next is Justin. This one's a little bit of a lighter green than John was. I feel like this one also has a little bit more yellow going through it. It's still so pretty though. Colors like this always remind me of Sprite, <laughs> like the can. It's super cute. Next up down here, we have Kevin. This one's super cute. It's kind of like a mossy green into like a brighter sea foamy green. And there's a little bit of a pink shift in here as well. Again, I don't know if this one fully captures on camera either, but it is so, so, so pretty. I really, really like this one. I mean, honestly, I like all of them. None of these are ugly. I think they're all pretty gorgeous. And last one on this palette is Laura. This one's more of an orangey bronzy situation. This is such a fall shade. It is so pretty. It's not like my go-to kind of shade, but during the fall, like I crave shades like this. So I do think this one's still really gorgeous. I like the shift in there as well. It's super, super bright. Moving on to the next palette. This one is Leon. I love a metallic red. Brands do not do a metallic red enough. Look how pretty that is. I love how deep it goes into like that brighter red. Oh, this is such a good like vampy red, especially with Valentine's Day coming up soon. This is gore. Just Next is the shade Lola. This is actually what I use for my inner corner highlight and my face highlight today. Just such a pretty iridescent. I love it. It's just so pretty. It goes from like, again, kind of translucent into like a bright aqua blue into like a sea foam. It's so pretty. There's a little bit of purpley in there in real life. Again, I don't know if the camera can capture all of those shifts, um, but it is just so so, so, so pretty. Next up is the shade Lucy. This is a super, super bright orange. It has a little bit of a gold shift through it as well. This one is super, super cute. Next is the shade Luke. My youngest brother is named Lucas. He's not Luke, but he's Lucas. <laughs> this one's really pretty. Kind of like a muted purpley gunmetal kind of color. It's it's really cool. I like this one as well. This would also pair so pretty with a dark smoky eye. Next up is the shade Maja. What a beautiful name. I love that. This is kind of like pink, orange, yellow, gold. Like it's such a cool shifty shadow. Again, I don't know if the camera can capture all of the shifts on this one. Some of these ultra shifty ones, it's hard to get all the colors to show up on camera, but oh, this one is so magical. It's so, so pretty and so smooth. Last on this row is Marius. This is such a cool one. Like it goes from like dark brown into like this purple into this orange. It's so weird. It has a little bit of olive to it as well. I really like this one. I think it's so, so, so cool. Definitely one of my favorites as well. It's like grungy rainbow vibes. Next is Mia. Super cute, kind of bubblegum, cotton candy, pink. I think this would pair so good. I think it was called Jacob earlier. Yeah, that kind of aqua sea foam one. Like if you wanted a cotton candy vibe, maybe I'll have to do that sometime and like a get ready with me. Do like a two-tone cotton candy look because this is so super cute. Next up, we have Nicholas. This one might actually be better for the cotton candy look now that I think about it. Yeah, I feel like this one's more ca cotton candy-esque just because it has like a blue purple instead of like a blue sea foam, but either one would be super cute. I'll have to think on that. Um, but yeah, this one is super, super pretty as well. I love that kind of lighter blue into a purple. Next up, we have Noah. This one is so pretty as well, like a rich, deep green, similar to Christopher from earlier, but this one has a lot more like true green in it rather than like emerald into teal. It's so, so pretty. Next is the shade No. N-O-E. I've never heard that name before, but it's very cute. This is actually what I'm using for the outside of my wing for this look. So pretty. It has kind of like a pink gold shift, a little bit of green and blue as well. But as you can see on top of a black base, like I have it today, you can see a lot more of that warmth peeking through. Such a beautiful shade. Next is the shade Nora. Such a bright, like, silvery but kind of bronzy it's a really cool shade i love how bright this one is it's it's really really cute again this is another kind of shade that i feel like would just amp up like a basic neutral look and last for this row we have olivia such a gorgeous like gold coral pink it's so cool i really like this one as well i like the kind of almost mac and cheese undertone you see here into this like brighter pink. It's pretty cool. I like this one. I don't really have anything quite like this. Finally, on the last row, we have Robert. This one is gorgeous. It is so sparkly, this like silver purple. There's a little bit of lavender mixed in. 
I love how deep but bright this one gets. This is such a gorgeous one. Next up, we have the shade Samantha. I almost don't know how to describe this one. It's like kind of yellow orange, but then into like a very bright yellow into like a golden white color. It's pretty cool. I like this one too. Next up, we have the shade Samuel. Such a bright silver, like a darker gray into a bright silver white. So pretty again. Black smoky eye, this would be so pretty with that. Next up we have Stella. Such a pretty like bluey purple again, but I feel like the purple is almost the prominent part with this one versus some of the other like indigo shades from earlier where they were more blue focused. This one seems to be more purple focused with the blue shift. It's really, really, really pretty. Next up is the shade Thor. This is another one of those just shifty smooth ones. So, so pretty. It's like bright purple into this like I don't even know how to explain it. There is like kind of a bright green going through it, but I just love that rich purple fuchsia situation. It's really, really pretty. And finally, last but not least, we have Victoria. Super, super bright, warm gold yellow situation. So bright, so sunflowery. This is a really, really pretty one. And now just so you can see everything laid out all together, I'm gonna read all the names in order with them all swatched out. We have Angela, Anthony, Ava, Charlotte, Chloe, Christopher, Daniel, David, Dimitri, Eden, Ella, Emily, Emma, Gabriel, Ingrid, Isabella, Ivy, Jacob, James, John, Judy, Justin, Kevin, Laura, Leon, Lola, Lucy, Luke, Maja, Marius, Mia, Nicholas, Noah, No, Nora, Olivia, Robert, Samantha, Samuel, Stella, Thor, and Victoria. Felt like I was just doing roll call. <laughs> Although a class of 42 kids would be a lot. But I hope you like this. I had fun swatching all of these out and sharing them with you. I'm loving all of the formulas. I think these are beautiful, beautiful shadows. I love that they have singles now because maybe now if you wanted to try Odin's Eye but you can't commit to a whole palette, maybe you could just pick up a couple shadows that speak to your mind. I am super excited about this idea. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave emojis that represent your favorite colors of these shadows? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything. And Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. My hand is getting so sick of getting wiped 42 times. My poor hand is getting so red. <laughs>